When standing up, scoot to the edge of the chair. Place your feet flat on the floor. Bring your affected leg forward as needed for pain relief or to follow precautions. Push up with both hands on the armrests of the chair. Do not push from the handles of the walker. When sitting down in a chair, make sure you can feel the back of the legs against the chair. Bring your affected leg out in front of you as needed to relieve pain or if needed to follow precautions. Reach back with both hands for support. It is not recommended to lower yourself down holding on to the walker as it can slide out on you. When sitting on your toilet at home, your knees are higher than your hips, then a raised toilet seat would be recommended for you. Having a grab bar or handles on the toilet may also be helpful as needed if you are taller or have more difficulty standing from a seated position. If you do not have grab bars, it sometimes works to use the walker over the toilet and use the walker for support when standing and sitting. Some patients may need assistance in getting dressed, putting their socks and shoes on, and even getting in and out of the shower. You may have difficulty with these tasks due to decreased range of motion, pain, or precautions that limit your movement following surgery. Following a total knee or a total hip replacement, you may need assistance getting dressed. Always dress and undress your affected leg first. Lay out your pant, skirt, or underwear within easy reach. Sit on a high, firm chair. Use a reacher to pinch the waist of the garment and lower it to the floor. Slip the garment over your non-affected leg, then the other. Use your reacher to pull it up over your knees. Stand up and slip the garment over your hips. Sit down to zip or button the garment. When getting undressed, sit down and unbutton your garment. Stand up and push the garment down and over your knees. Sit down and use the reacher to push the garment to the floor. Slip it off of your affected leg, then the other. When putting the socks on, place your sock aid into your sock. Make sure the heel of your sock is at the back of the aid. Holding the sock aid by the strap with both hands, drop the aid to the floor in front of your foot. Slip your foot into the sock aid. Pull on the strap to pull the aid up onto your leg. Keep pulling until the aid comes out of your sock. When taking your sock off, sit down. Use your reacher to push your sock down the back of your leg and heel, then onto the floor. Use your reacher to pick up your socks. When putting on your shoes, use your reacher. Pinch the tongue of the shoe and bring it to the front of your foot. Slide your foot onto the shoe. You may wanna use a long handled shoe horn in the back of your shoe. If you're having difficulty lifting your affected leg, it may be difficult to get in and out of bed. You can use a leg lifter, sheet, or belt to help position your leg in bed and to help lift it in and out of bed. If you have the option, it may be easier for you to get in and out of bed on the side opposite your surgery because you avoid potentially placing more pressure on your surgical leg. While laying on your back in bed, try not to put a pillow under your surgical leg. If you're lying on your side, place a pillow between your knees to keep your hips in good alignment. For patients who have a tub shower, you may need to use a tub bench to get in and out of the shower. Place a rubber mat on your bath to prevent slipping. Select a bath seat that is tall enough. You should not bend more than a 90 degrees of the hip. Keep soaps within easy reach of the seat. Place the bath seat in the tub facing the faucets. Back up until you can feel the tub on the back of your legs. Be sure you are in line with the bath seat. While keeping your affected legs straight, reach back with one hand and slowly lower yourself onto the bath seat. Keep one hand on your walker until you are seated. Lift your legs over the edge of the tub one at a time. Then use an assistive device for your affected leg. Use a long handled bath sponge and handheld shower head to wash your legs and feet as you have available. When getting out of the tub with a bath seat, lift your legs over the edge of the tub using an assistive device for your affected leg. Scoot to the edge of the bath seat. Push up from the seat while holding on to the walker with one hand. You will be able to go up and down stairs as tolerated by your pain. Always use a railing on the stairs if possible. If no railing is available or extra support is needed on the stairs, a walker or a cane may be used. 
If a walker is needed, place the walker sideways with the opening towards you. Place two legs of the walker on the step you are advancing to and two legs on the step you are currently on. Support your weight on the walker handle on the step you are advancing to. Step up with your non-affected leg, then bring your affected leg to the same step. Advance the walker to the next step and repeat. At the top, the walker can be placed normally and use both handles to support you. Still advancing with your non-affected side, then your affected side. Going down the step is the opposite. Again, if the walker is needed, place the walker sideways with the opening towards you. Place two legs on the step you are advancing to and two legs on the step you are currently on. Put your weight through the handle of the walker that is on the step you are currently on. Step down with your affected leg first, then with your non-affected leg onto the same step. Advance the walker to the next step and repeat. At the bottom, place your walker normally and step down, putting weight through both hands of the walker, still going with your affected leg, then your non-affected leg. You may also use a cane and one rail when going up and down the stairs. Step up with your non-affected side, keeping the cane with your affected leg. Then bring your affected leg and the cane up to the same step. When going down the step, bring your cane down the step, then your affected leg. Then bring your non-affected leg down to the same step. If you have a step that is wide enough to fit a walker on, you can go up and down with the walker. Walk up to the step and place the walker onto the platform step. Then step up with your non-affected leg, followed by your affected leg. If needed, you can also have someone stabilize the walker. Stepping down off the platform, step up to the edge of the step, place the walker down, then step down with the affected leg, followed by the non-affected leg. Again, you can have someone stabilize the walker if needed. When getting in and out of the car, position the car seat all the way back. Back up to the car until you feel the seat or the car on the back of your legs. Like sitting in a chair, bring your affected leg out in front of you to relieve pain or to follow precautions as needed. Hold on to the seat and the dashboard for support. Then sit down. Once sitting, turn and lift your legs into the car. A plastic bag can be helpful to assist you in turning. Use an assistive device to help your affected leg if needed.